All right, this is Adam Fisher with South Coast Yachts. I'm at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show here at the Beneteau booth. And I wanted to give you a quick uh, tour of the Beneteau Grand Trawler 62, which is right behind me here. So let's uh, spin the camera around and I'll take you on board. So before the show gets super busy, I wanted to give you a tour of the Beneteau Grand Trawler 62. This is the flagship uh, boat in the trawler series. This one definitely trumps the, uh, the next size down, which is the Swift Trawler 48, which is this one here. But you can just look at the size of the swim platform on the back here. This is a hydraulic swim platform. This will lower into the water and you do have uh, dinghy chocks on the deck there. We'll uh, hop on board. You can see that even with your tender on board, there's a great access, great pathway here along the back so you can get uh, get around the side here with, with the tender being on board. And then into a really large aft cockpit area. The beautiful thing about this is you notice the, the seating actually faces out to the ocean. So instead of having the, the bench seats on the back here, you have them right kind of around the uh, companionway door here facing aft. And it's really great. These doors do open all the way up so you have seamless inside outside living. You notice that you do have controls here. So if you are docking the boat, so this is for your swim platform, up and down, and then your this will actually control the whole entire boat using the um, the twin man engines and combination of bow thrusters. Looking aft here, you do have an access door right here, so when you pull up to a uh, side tie on a dock, you can step right out. You have electric winch. You have nice big cockpit shower, it's like a rain style shower. And we'll take you up to the bow, we'll take you around. So on this boat, the uh, the whole um, cabin is center line. So the access both to starboard and port are the same width. So you have really clear, really wide walkway here, covered overhead. As you come forward, this door will take you right into the helm station, but we'll take you up to the bow first. You have fender storage on both sides, port and starboard here. Nice big lounge cushions up here that recline. And then seating as well. Beautiful teak decks along here. You got your anchor lockers, big winch on the front here. You do have electric windlass down below for your, your big heavy duty plow anchor there. Just kind of spin around, give you a view. The flybridge. You notice that the uh, front windows here, they actually slant backwards, but down and backwards. So it actually gives you good shade. You don't get a lot of sunlight inside the boat, heating up the in interior of the boat, but you have great visibility all around, great natural lighting. And you come down the port side, the access way is still just as wide, but then your door here actually slides you right into the galley, which is nice. And then again, yeah, nice wide walkway. You're covered, come to the back here. Another electric winch on the port side. This uh, cockpit table folds out, and then you can bring out some uh, some movable chairs to seat. I don't know six or eight people around this table quite nicely. Take you inside first. So we walk in here. We see a nice big main salon area so huge settee all around nice big coffee table you have your TV which will lift out of here large flat screen TV you do have a wine chiller and as we move forward you just see all the lighting all the windows all around so great natural lighting this is your main salon table here. So this will also fold out and then you can put some chairs, extra chairs around here. So you can easily sit eight or 10 people around this dinette. Into the large galley, you have full size fridge and freezer down below. You have induction, four burner cooktop stove. You have range hood. You have your uh, multifunction microwave. So it's like a convention convection microwave. Here's the access door to step outside. And then 
large deep stainless steel sink, trash receptacle, dishwasher. And you have the option to make this kitchen fully enclosed with uh, some windows around here. And then of course you have the door to block yourself off. As we move forward, you do have access to the flybridge from the lower helm station here, which is nice, as well as out in the aft cockpit. But we take a look at this large helm station. You have great visibility all around. You got one blind spot there. Otherwise you have excellent visibility. You do have cameras all around this boat too. So you can bring up the camera displays on uh, your, your large Raymarine multifunction displays here. You got, uh, this boat has twin man engines. I believe they're 730 horsepower. You have bow and stern thrusters, but then you have this Avanix control too. So this uses the combination of your engines and your bow and stern thrusters to control the boat here, like joystick control. Trim tabs. These would be your uh, status of your man engines. Your quick windlass here. Over here, we'll take you down below. So really safe, access down. We'll go forward here. This is the VIP guest room. So you see the, uh, you got a full size bunk here that's put sideways. Look at the, I love the windows in this. So you can just see right out. You have flat screen TV on a swivel there. You have storage everywhere. Storage under the bed as well. The headroom in, this is really huge. I think we're going like seven feet headroom in here into the ensuite head with separate shower. And again, like tons of headroom in here. That's going up to eight feet on that section and great visibility, natural lighting all around. Coming back, you have the the uh, guest head, which is also an ensuite to the guest room, but you have separate shower, your toilet, nice sink, Corian countertops, ensuite door there to the guest cabin. This is broken down into two single beds, but there is a uh, filler cushion that can go here to make this one queen size bed and ample storage all around. It's nice, nice big hanging locker. And we'll go down to the master cabin. So we're making this really quick tour because the boat show is getting really busy. So here's your master cabin. You got a full queen size bed, huge suite here, big flat screen TV. I love how low you are to the water here, the windows. Again, tons of storage, hanging lockers and storage. A nice vanity right here with a little bench seat. Of course, you got uh, climate control in every single cabin on this boat. And then really large ensuite head with full size shower. A little bench seat inside the shower, too. This is great. This is luxury. I'm going to take you up top again. So, as we come back up to the main area in the lower helm station. What we'll do is we'll actually take us from here right up to the flybridge. So I love all this seating all around the flybridge here. So you got a forward lounge pad here. This obviously closes down. So you're safe, you're not gonna fall down below. A great captain's and extra seat here. Same controls as down at the lower helm station. So you got three multifunctional displays. You see your uh, cameras all around the boat. And you come aft to the big dinette out here. Again, you're sitting eight, ten people back here, no problem. Huge aft deck up here. You have the option of putting a crane up here so you can stow a jet ski, which I believe would mount right there. And you have your electric 
sunroof on the Bimini. A great galley there. I'd get you in there, but uh, you do have an ice maker, you have full size uh, pull drawer, fridge, grill, sink, full on wet bar. And as we walk down, gently sloping stairs, really easy to come down. Now let's take you into the cruise quarter here. As we come down, these stairs fold up. And then you can jump right down in the cruise quarter. And this also has your engine room access. So as you come down here, you see you have your washer dryer unit. You have a separate head, which is nice. So if you're just jumping out of the water, coming for a swim and you're all sandy, you can just come in here and use the head here so you're not getting the rest of the boat all wet. You have access to the cockpit through this hatch. And here's your engine room. So you got your twin man engines. Again, I believe these are 730 horsepower. You got your uh, MC2 gyro and generator. And just great space here to service your engines. And then as we look here, sorry, this is your crew quarters. It's all stuff about the gear for the show right now, but you do have two single berths here. And then another shower right here so you can rinse off after uh, after you're rolling around in the sand on the beach. All right, the show is getting busy, so we're gonna step out. Storage, we got batteries down below these stairs. And then we come back up. Pass a rail. Again, huge aft platform. All right, well, thanks for coming on that quick tour of the Grand Trawler 62. I know it's always difficult to uh, get a good video done at these boat shows, but wanted to take the moment while I could to hop on board and uh, show you what it's all about. Uh, there's a couple of good programs like uh, Sea Style. We got Todd Hess in the background here who runs Sea Style, and that's like a fractional ownership program for the Grand Trawler 62. And, uh, you know, I think they do some of the larger lagoon uh, models as well. So if you're interested in any info about the boat or the sea style program or anything else we have at South Coast Yachts, please feel free to reach out to me by email at adam at scyachts.com or you can call or text me anytime on 949-973-4812. Thank you.